Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida was an influential Arab tribal leader who resisted foreign invasions by the French, British, and Zionists. During the late Ottoman period, Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida established his own autonomous state in the north of Jordan. Sheikh Kuleib protected the tribes of this region and provided essential services to the people that the Ottomans had failed to provide. After the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida maintained his autonomous state and resisted European invasions. After the fall of the Ottoman Empire, Britain and France occupied the Middle East. Sheikh Kuleib fought many battles against the French and the British invaders. Both British and French authorities attempted to bribe Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida in order to win him over to their side, in light of the colonial competition between Britain and France. In 1916, Britain and France had drawn artificial borders in the Middle East. However, Sheikh Kuleib was one of the figures who did not recognize these borders. Sheikh Kuleib's state was strategically located between Jordan, Palestine and Syria. Therefore, colonial powers were desperate to gain his support so that they could complete their plan of dividing the Middle East and gaining influence in their allocated regions. However, all attempts at invasion and bribery failed, and Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida successfully defended his territory. During the Great Syrian Revolt against the French in 1925, Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida sent a tribal army of 200 fighters to fight the French in Syria. Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida also resisted the British occupation of Palestine and their plan to create a national homeland for Jews at the expense of the Palestinian people. Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida supported and participated in battles against the British forces and Zionist gangs that occupied Palestine. These Zionist Jewish militias had been armed and trained by the British. Sheikh Kuleib led a war against the Zionist occupiers and commanded an army which consisted of various Jordanian tribes. Sheikh Kuleib coordinated with rebels in Palestine and provided weapons and supplies to the Palestinians. In fact, the independent state of Sheikh Kuleib became a safe haven for Arab freedom fighters who were conducting attacks on the Zionist occupiers. It was not long before the British began to consolidate their power in Jordan. When the British occupied Jordan, they wanted to unite the region under one central government led by King Abdullah. Many of the influential sheikhs of the Transjordan region were either incorporated into the new government or they were stripped of power. Therefore, the independent state of Sheikh Kuleib al Shureida was a huge obstacle for the British. Sheikh Kuleib initially pledged allegiance to King Abdullah. However, he refused to be a part of the central government. Instead, he requested that his state should have influence and direct links with the central government. However, this request was ignored by the British and King Abdullah. This made relations between the state of Sheikh Kuleib and the central government worse. Tensions increased and clashes began to take place between Jordanian soldiers and the army of Sheikh Kuleib. The British did not like Sheikh Kuleib and spread propaganda against him and his state. The British also encouraged Jordanian soldiers to be hostile to Sheikh Kuleib and to harass his people. After a tax collector was killed in the territory of Sheikh Kuleib, 
the central government sent a military force to arrest Sheikh Kuleib. Sheikh Kuleib declared a rebellion against the government and killed 15 Jordanian soldiers. However, with the help of British aircrafts and bombings, this rebellion was suppressed. Sheikh Kuleib al Shuraida was sentenced to death. However, this sentence was later overturned after the British withdrew from Jordan and King Abdullah granted Sheikh Kuleib amnesty. After the British left, relations between Sheikh Kuleib and the central government improved and Sheikh Kuleib served in many key positions in the Jordanian government. Sheikh Kuleib al-Shuraida died in the year 1941.